Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch as it, as it comes in and as it goes out, and again and again and again. Just stay with the breathing. Try not to let anything else distract you. If you do get distracted, just drop the distraction and you'll be back with the breath. The breath is home base. The mind needs shelter. It needs a safe place to stay. Because the world is full of all kinds of storms. And storms of agitation outside, agitation inside. When the two kinds of agitation get together, then they really go create all kinds of tornadoes. So you want to make sure that at the very least whatever agitation you have is inside, it's kept to itself and it doesn't mix up with stuff from the outside. And then as you give the mind a place to settle down, a lot of the inner agitation can calm down as well. The mind is like the body. It needs a home, it needs food, it needs clothing, it needs medicine. And the breath provides all these things. And you can breathe in a way that feels really comfortable. The mind feels refreshed. It feels strengthened. That's good food for the mind. When greed, aversion, and delusion come in, okay, you can stay with the breath and it helps calm those things down, and that's medicine for the mind. As I said, you've got a good, safe place to hear. stay here. That's your shelter. And your clothing is what keeps you restrained. Make sure that you don't do anything shameful. So the, when you stay with the breath, you've got the mind well cared for, just like caring for your body. Although it's more important than caring for your body, because the mind is the real source of strength inside. And of course, this body of ours, as it grows up, then it gets, starts getting older, then it gets sick, and then it dies. But the mind doesn't have to do that. The reason the mind does get sick is we don't take care of it. But if we do take care of it, it doesn't have to be sick. This is where it's different. So pay a lot of attention to looking after your mind, because once the mind is well cared for, then wherever you go, you don't have to suffer. The suffer that weighs the mind down is the kind of suffering that comes from inside. And so as you get the mind to be calm, you can see things more clearly going on inside. And when you see them clearly, then you can understand what to do with them. And at the same time, being with the breath here gives you a source of strength. So not only do you see what needs to be done, but you have the strength to do it. So look after your mind every day. It's your most important possession. The state of the mind gets soured or it gets stale. Try to freshen it up. A couple of good long breaths, refreshing all the way down inside, gives the mind a good place to take as its anchor. They provide it shelter. 